Welcome back to Inside the Heat. After living the Hoosier high school basketball dream, Josh McRoberts was off to Duke for two seasons of high-level elite college basketball. And that led to a wonderful night, the 2007 NBA Draft. The Portland Trailblazers select Josh McRoberts. Here you go, over to the other side of the country. So how was your rookie year playing for the Blazers? I had a great time there. I like I liked the city a lot. It was a lot of fun to kind of grow up, like kind of be on my own. I didn't get to play too much on the court. I think I kind of learned a lot in practice, after practice. Went to the D-League for a few weeks. Whoa! McRoberts exercising frustration. Without question, he has NBA ability. I had a chance to get some experience there. Um, so it was, it was a good year for me overall. Oh, McRoberts hits his first points as an NBA player. So if the basketball dream for most is getting drafted into the NBA, then being traded to your hometown team was what for you? Oh, I mean, uh, that was also kind of a dream come yeah. true for me. I mean, it was something that I almost didn't believe it. It was good for me. It was a good experience for me because I was home. I was able to be around my friends and family, be able to be comfortable, and, and kind of in a time where I was trying to, you know, find my way in the NBA. Oh, oh, oh. That is Jane Mack. The NBA game is so much different than high school, college. It's just a different, different style of play, different game, different players, lifestyle, travel, games, back-to-backs, just all the things that kind of add up. I think I really learned in Indiana. In 2011, you get your first taste of that second season. You guys go to the playoffs. Yeah. I know it didn't go the way you wanted it to. You guys lost to the Bulls, but what was that first bit of NBA playoff basketball? Yeah, I mean, it was kind of, it was good. But Roberts with a feed from Granger. The first couple of years, we weren't, uh, we weren't really as good, and it was kind of our goal to make the playoffs, and so to be able to accomplish that goal as a team, it was good to be a part of, kind of see something where you, you work for a couple of years and then kind of have that, that breakthrough. Big Roberts, great footwork in a low post, strong with the ball, it's a nice move. It was a cool thing to be a part of, and that's kind of what started the Pacers on their upward tip. After two and a half years with the Pacers, you then signed with the Lakers. What was it like being with one of those storied all-time franchises? It was a different experience than I had before, uh, kind of being in that, that spotlight. Shoot it. That should count. Are you kidding me? That's Are you serious? That is the truth. That aspect of it was different than obviously playing with those great players, Hall of Fame guys. That was kind of my first experience with that. You were then traded to the Orlando Magic. Now, at this point, I imagine you're like, okay, I, yeah. get it. I know yeah. how this works now. Yeah. All right, so the adjustment is one thing to your personal life, but being in another system, how was that process going? I was kind of involved in the Dwight Howard trade to L.A. Josh McRoberts came flying in. I wasn't really a part of the future in Orlando. I kind of just fit the trade for, for both teams, and that's kind of just part of the business side of things. It wasn't like the Lakers traded me for, you know, a washing machine or something like that is what I always say. Like, it, you know, it just kind of happens as part of the business and was just there for a short time and then moving on to Charlotte. You're starting to have career highs in several categories at that point. Josh McRoberts having a career night, 24 points in the game. What was it about the Charlotte uh, opportunity that started to pull some of that out for you? For me, it was really just getting an opportunity, um, getting a chance to play extended minutes. It's also the time where you establish yourself as one of the best passing big men in the game. Nick Roberts behind the back. Oh, look at that handle. Josh <laughs> McRoberts going to work. Tonight, Josh McRoberts has achieved a career high in assists. Something I take pride in. I think it's something that I've always done. Back to probably the first time I started playing basketball, I think I like to be able to connect everybody on the court and to be able to uh, make plays for my teammates and make, make everybody else's job easier out there. Is there one that you even went, ooh, that was nice? I think all of them are nice. They're, no. They take every <laughs> single one. No. When they make the shot out. Exactly. That's when they're the best. <laughs> right? so when they lead to a basket. What have you learned most up to this point in your career? Just from all the experience we've talked about, I think I learned I must figure out a way to, to survive. I'm going to figure out a way to kind of stick around, whatever it takes to, to make myself valuable to a team and organization. I'll find a way to, to do that. That's the thing that I've kind of tried to pull from, from all the different places I've been and, and all the different things that I've seen, try to learn from that. And I think for me, it just gives me confidence that, you know, even though it might not always be pretty, that, that I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to end up on the other side of things. 
Welcome back to Inside the Heat. For most, the third time's the charm. But for Josh McRoberts, Miami is stop number six in his NBA journey, and he's hoping this is the place where championships can happen. But we should note there's an oddity here for him. This isn't the first time he's been a member of the Heat. Now, growing up, you played on an AAU team that was the Indy Heat. So how appropriate is it that you eventually find your way to the Miami Heat? I mean, it's just yeah, it makes sir. sense. It makes sense. <laughs> there have been a few guys. I played with, uh, actually played with Daquan Cook. Gotcha. I played here. I played with Greg Oden. He was on that team as well. So besides myself, Daquan, Greg, uh, there's also Mike Conley, Eric Gordon as well. So we had a pretty decent team. You guys didn't lose much, huh? Not very much. Yeah. 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 <laughs> the Miami Heat marks your sixth NBA home. When you sign your contract with the Heat, was there a distinct idea for you and your team you know what, let's do this for multiple years. Yeah, I think it was something that I was looking for in terms of having some stability and being in a place that wanted to commit to me, seeing me as a part of their future and where they were headed. That's something that I've never really had throughout my career. Um, so that's something that Miami was able to offer and hopefully a place I can string some years together and have some continuity from year to year. Nice feed, McRoberts, ever to do. If you're making the decision to come to the Heat, what was it that you're saying? You know what, this is what I want to provide this team. This is what my skill set can inject. For me, the number one thing is just helping make it easier for the other guys. McRoberts almost had it swiped by Teague. Oh, threaded the needle. Oh, oh, man. What a pass. What a pass. Being able to find them a couple easy shots here and there, be able to, you know, get them the ball in, in a different spot. Dick Roberts pull it past for Bosch to so make the game easier for his teammates. Not necessarily getting assists or numbers or anything like that, but just by moving the ball, it might lead to an extra pass or set the screen, um, getting a tip out off the offensive glass, uh, things like that. I think that was but my biggest thing was just trying to, to help the team, you know, take a step forward. It's McRobert. Backdoor into Wade. Wade layup and got it to go again. A fabulous pass, McRoberts. You seem to have this keen ability to see things before they happen. How do you do it? I think it just comes from seeing a lot of basketball and really, you know, developing a love for the game and kind of the nuances of the game. But just by playing a lot, I think that I kind of see things or, or try to see things and try to be a step ahead. Tell me about the uh, second night in November. Find a game against the Raptors. Nick Roberts could not hold on, and the ball goes out of bounds off Napier. Oh, look at his wow. shirt. <laughs> Nick Roberts is upset. He just created that rip himself. I think I've been lifting too much. Man. That's good. That was it. <laughs> it made me too strong in the weight room. He's stronger than I thought. That's not easy to do. No, I don't know what it was, man. I always, hold, I always just like rest my hands on my jersey like that. Right. It got out of hand. <laughs> it, you know, it looked crazy. It wasn't as crazy as it looked. Right. Like, I mean, like, it, it right. started to rip. I probably was, you know, holding on to it a little too hard, and then it kind of went all at one time. You know, you ever been, like, no, listen. holding on to something, and it just kind of goes? On the floor, you have this ability to create the, these moments of fervor, is what I call them. <laughs> and it's right as you're about to take off to dump. Now getting his first NBA. The action is McRoberts with his offhand. And the whole place is just salivating, <laughs> waiting for you to crunch one down. Are you First of all, are you aware of what's happening? If I'm going to catch a lob or like going to take off for a dunk, everything kind of slows down a little bit. I'm not really focused on the person in front of me. I'm just trying to put the ball in the basket. With your time with the Heat, what is it that you're saying? This is what I want this time to be about. I want to take a step forward in my career. I want to be a champion. This is a championship organization. You know, that's kind of the, the standard that's been set here, and I want to be a part of that. I'm not saying that it has to happen this year, next year, whenever, I think. But at some point uh, in my time here, that would be something that I want to be a part of. As we have come to learn on these many episodes of Inside the Heat, no NBA journey is quite like another. For McRoberts, 
He was a Hoosier high school hero, but that led him through multiple NBA locations to get to Miami with championship desires in his heart. As for now, he will be an important part of the Heat's march through this regular season to get to that second season. Thanks so very much for watching this edition of Inside the Heat. I am Jason Jackson. In the jungle, the mighty jungle. What is this word on the script? Doppeldaggers? Which is doppelganger? Doppelganger. Can you just say a lookalike? <laughs> <laughs> oh, they, oh. Oh, they were video bombing. <laughs> What's happening? <laughs> 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 <laughs>